everybody's way. I had to cut the singing. That might scare some of you away. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to clean. Nobody, including me. But I'm looking around my house right now, realizing, uh, wow, I'm suffocating in the chaos, in the madness, and someone has to tackle it. And I'm going to show you around. Let's do it, okay? I'm going to show you around room by room. And you might look at one room at a time and say, not so bad. I've seen worse. Or maybe you'll look at it and say, wow, how do you live in that pigsty? And well, nice to meet you. My name is Kimberly Whisk. And this is how we live our lives. We are just cleaning up after the holidays. We had a festivity ornament decorating, just general messes around. And like looking room by room, you know, for me personally, I've seen worse, not so bad. But when every single room looks like that and I can't take a step without looking at a mess, internally, I feel screaming inside. I hear screaming <laughs> inside and that's when I say, okay, buckle down, pedal to the metal. I got to just get this done and I just tackle it one space at a time. I typically move like even in the kitchen, I do, I try to go back, middle, front. And I guess this happens in every single room that I clean. I just start at one point and move from there. Um, typically, obviously, you try to start at the top and go down, but I'm not even at the point of uh, like really deep cleaning right now. I'm just tidying up, putting things in their home where it belongs. That's the first step of cleaning is just taking the mess and dealing with it, like putting the chips back in the pantry, putting this dirty dish in the sink. Do you know what I mean? And then the second layer of cleaning is actually cleaning, like using a cleaner sanitizer. And then there's a third step where you can deep clean, but you can't deep clean unless you do the first two steps above that. Do you feel me? Dog, can you dig it? Okay. And do you know what I love to clean with? Blue Land. Yes, huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video and massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. I've been using Blue Land products for about a year now, if not more, and it's the new year, so it's always a great time to rethink how we can make an impact, not only in our house, but also with the environment. And I love that Blue Land reduces my plastic use and also allows me to live a cleaner lifestyle, which is always what I strive towards. You guys know that. I'm not perfect, but uh, making little changes like using Blue Land cleaning products in my house really make an impact. It adds up over time. So Blue Land offers sets, and I think that's the best way to start out. Blue Land offers so many cleaning products that are planet friendly. All of the products are free of phthalates, chlorine bleach, phosphates, and so many other chemicals that are so unnecessary. They're also hyperallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. All good things, right? Sounds great so far. The products are effective and also very affordable. And you know, I'm all about saving money and saving the environment and Blue Land shares that interest. I have used so many of the Blue Land cleaning products. They're easy to use and the tablets come in packaging that are fully compostable. For the spray cleaners, they have a window, an all-purpose, and a bathroom cleaner, and you just fill up the bottle to the line, throw in a tablet, and that's it. It's so simple. And then the same with the dishwasher tablets. You just throw a tablet in the dishwasher. You're good to go. The dishwasher tablets are proven to perform on burnt on stains and there's no rinse aid needed the toilet tablets same thing just throw the tablet straight into the toilet watch it fizz then flush it the toilet tablets are proven to work on a range of toilet stains laundry tablets are just as simple as throwing them into the washing machine they're also proven to lift the toughest stains from grass stains food stains we got plenty of those happening over here and all the tablets are plastic free which is a big deal the foaming hand soaps are fantastic you guys i've used so many of these products and they perform so well. It's the perfect time to grab some cleaning products from Blue Land. Save your wallet, save the environment, save space in your home. It's a win-win all around and you can save even more money when you buy refills in bulk. That's what I do. And you can save even more money if you use my link below. It will get you 15% off of your first kit and Blue Land is sharing this special offer just for you so you can get 15% off by using my link in the description box below. Gotta take it step by step, step by step. Ooh, baby, gonna get 
to your girl. Does anyone think of New Kids on the Block when they think boy bands anymore? Or is it just, are we at the age where it's just reverts to NSYNC Backstreet Boys? I don't know. You know, I love a good uh, New Kids on the Block, NKOTB. Can you dig it? (laughs) That's another thing that I like to do when I'm cleaning, when I know I have a lot to tackle. I throw on some music. Depending on my mood will suggest different types of music, right? So country will get me going. Gavin DeGraw is always a favorite. What's your favorite music to jam out to when you know you have a lot to do? Lauren Daigle is one of my top jams. Okay, you might think, ooh, kind of slow, but extremely uplifting. And that's the kind of music I love to listen to sometimes. Sometimes it's, you know, Taylor Swift, 10 minute version of All Too Well, especially when I have a, oh, sorry, a dead, <laughs> I hit the microphone, a dedicated section to work on where I think, okay, I'm just going, I don't have a lot of time, but I do have about 10 minutes. So I'll throw on that song and I know it's 10 minutes. That's a great one to throw on when you are limited on time. A lot of times when I have to run errands or go outside the house, I'll say, okay, let me take 10, 15 minutes right now to clean literally as much as I can before I leave the house because who wants to come home to a you know untidy house let's say because untidy and dirty they're two different things but let's just leave it at that we do what we can when we can and Kim's cleaning service you know that's our motto we uh, do our best and it's good enough (laughs) it's not always good enough for the clients but it's good enough for us to move forward with our lives and uh, yeah So I'm loading the dishwasher, something that literally we do every single day. And I feel like if we don't unload the dishwasher at least once a day, because sometimes it is twice a day, depending on, you know, what's happening, especially with all the holiday festivities and stuff. But that's over with. Avelina just had her birthday party. She is my last. Well, she's my firstborn, but she's the last birthday party that we have of the season, birthday season, including Jesus, okay? And so it's just a busy time for us, and I feel like I can finally just take a breath, (sighs) just take a sigh of relief that it is all over, and yet somehow just begun. It's like a new year, new beginning. What are your goals? I have a lot of them. I feel like this is my time to shine. It's my time to get my life together. (laughs) I know I've been saying that for an extremely long time, but I feel like I've taken steps to getting my life together. Is it perfect? No. Will it ever be? Yes. Soon enough. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I don't have that expectation. I just, in my mind, Think one step at a time and progress is what it's all about. Come the new year, I really do have a lot to organize. I have a lot of future projects (laughs) and literally nothing big. It's (laughs) small things, but that's what it's all about. Listen, we got a lot of kids. We got a lot going on. We got busy schedules. We've got sports and school and after school activities and work and all the things, right? And laundry on top of it all, if you can believe that. (laughs) How do people do it? And it's a, a certain season of life that we just, sometimes people thrive in chaos. Sometimes we just survive, right? And I feel like that's where I'm at. And the Christmas time really put this into perspective for me because obviously like we have five fairly small kids. Our kids range from one year old to 13 years old. And I can't believe that I'm saying that, but that's how it is. And big sigh, goosebumps there. I can't believe I I have five kids and like, how lucky am I, right? So anyway, Christmas morning chaos. That's how we have lived for the past 13 years. Christmas morning chaos with kids. And then I look at my, you know, family members who are empty nesters, who have been empty nesters for a while, who don't have any kids under the road. Like, you know, you're looking at all of this and then, you know, we know plenty of people who are older and then it's just the range of people and then seeing how their lives have progressed and wondering what our life will look like in 50 years is bonkers to me. I can't, I I can't wrap my hand around it because I don't know what will happen. Hopefully I will still be around in 50 years to find out what will happen. I know what I want, would love to happen, but Christmas morning will not look the same ever again as it did this year. 
compared to next year and the year after. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to take one chunk at a time and do the best that I can with my life in the moment that I'm living in. And that's really all you can do forever and always. This is my bedroom. (laughs) I closed the door earlier and I said, okay, this is the time I have to tackle it. I know it's a mess. Listen, this is real life. If your life doesn't look like this, good for you. Maybe you can give me some tips and tricks. I'm just kidding. I let let, do I'm doing my best. Okay. I'm drowning over here. So (laughs) this is just how I'm living. I can't even imagine how I could walk in my bedroom and look at this stuff. I right now it's clean. So it feels really nice. But in this moment, yeah, not so nice. Then that's why I have to tackle it and deal with it. But I digress. The new year brings new possibilities. It's just a fresh start. I don't know. This year, the, I just gives me the tingles thinking about it. Are you excited for the new year? Even if you don't think of it as a new year, which it is. I don't know. Some people are like, oh, another year, whatever. Even if you're looking at it like a Monday, fresh start, today's fresh start, next hour is a fresh start. Every moment is a moment that we have to make a fresh start. And I have a lot on my to-do list, okay? I got a lot on my plate, a lot of expectations I'm piling on my shoulders for absolutely no good reason. But I am wanting to live a healthier lifestyle this year. Brownies are included in that. If you were wondering, Brownie Friday isn't going anywhere. That is a staple in our house. If you can hear my son bouncing some kind of ball in our living room. That is my life at the current moment in time. And, you know, as long as no one's crying, I am happy about it. So <laughs> um, the gym, I'm super excited about re, re, what is that word? Implementing, reintroducing that into my life. <laughs> For the longest time, for the longest time, you know the jam. For the longest time, I was a gym rat, okay? I was there one hour, five days a week. (laughs) Uh, I know that doesn't constitute as a gym rat, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I enjoy my workout time. And between pregnancy and postpartum and having fussy babies who, you know, would prefer to not be in the nursery, I just, a lot, I had to accommodate to a bunch of moving parts in my life. And so I haven't been going very consistently. Even with Meredith, I didn't go consistently because uh, she was a very high-risk pregnancy for me and I didn't want to push myself. So I, I feel like it's been a long time since I have been able to really immerse my immerse, immerse, immerse myself in that environment, in the way that I enjoy it, in the way that I want to. So as Wolfgang gets a bit older, I am finding that is a possibility for me. So I'm really excited about doing more of that. The holiday season was just so busy. I just made all kinds of excuses on why I couldn't fit it in. (laughs) So no more excuses, okay? And if you saw that moment in my bedroom, I didn't finish cleaning my bedroom. Um, I was holding Wolfgang, my baby, he's one year old, and he made the sign, if you could see that, just his sweet little hands motioning for milk. That's his, you know, sign for nursing, sign language. And I put my hands on my head and I said, why? Well, why? Because he loves me. (laughs) Mickey Mouse style, right? And, um, you know, people talk about breastfeeding and, oh, it's such a beautiful journey. And it is beautiful. I'm not taking anything away from that, but it is extremely time consuming. It is all consuming. It is all the things, especially when you extend breastfeed, you think, oh, yeah, whatever. People have a lot of thoughts and opinions about it, but I just wanted to get my room clean, you know, but he had other plans. So I had to stop. I, you know, had to tend to him. Obviously he's my child. That is my ultimate job is to tend to my children before anything else. And, you know, part of tending to them is keeping a tidy home. So again, all these moving parts, all the balls up in the air, mom's over here just trying to keep them all afloat. Dad's too, okay? And so and that, that was the moment that you saw where I said, oh, you know, because it's not always rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes it is stormy clouds and rainy days and you just got to take it hour by hour. <laughs> Some days are just, you know, we, we all have those days where it's not always how we envisioned parenthood to be, but things happen and you move forward and that's all you can do, right? So anyway, that's what that was that I didn't finish cleaning my room, but 
I actually don't know if I go back in there in this video. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe. I do know that I spend a lot of time in this laundry room getting it all tidied up. And it's actually a funny moment coming up. So get ready to laugh. <laughs> okay. So in here doing laundry and it's like no one prepare. Oh, that was my doorbell. Hold on. I'll be BRB. Unexpected visitors. Always the best. Kind of expected, kind of unexpected. That was last night. Hey, what are you going to do? You got to host. So where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> I should have known. Laundry. Isn't it the most wonderful thing to do laundry, to have clean laundry, to wear, to know that we have plenty of clothes on our backs, right? Right. Cleaning it, time consuming. You know, the washing drying part isn't so time consuming. It is for the washing machines. So thankful I have washing machines. And you know what? People <laughs> have mentioned, oh, you should get double, like double stack washing machine, like washer dryer, like have two of each. And I'm just like, what? Why, you, why are you doing that to me? I can barely keep up with what I have right now. Could you imagine if I was doing two loads at once? Wild and crazy. What are the pros and cons to that? In my mind, I feel like I'll just have more. I, I don't know. And I don't, to me, it wouldn't make a difference. But I have seen plenty of houses with double stacked, like washing and dryer situations. You know, even when we were house shopping, we saw several of them that had multiple at the house that, oh gosh, the house that we really, really wanted, but we didn't get with like the, uh, the mud room and the locker situation. They weren't lockers, but I can't explain it. I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It had a double Jack and Jill, literally our dream house. I, I, crying that we didn't get it. No joke. Right. And so, you know what? Life works out the way that it should, or at least that's what we tell ourselves, <laughs> but we didn't get that house. And it's sad. Like, once it sold, we knew we didn't get it, but we always wondered like, oh, how, you know, how close were we? So close. We were so, we were outbid by just a small amount. This is the funny part right here. This is just a couple days later and boom, clean to dirty. And that's how it works, right? Laundry is literally never ending. And just a couple days worth of, I mean, I say a couple days. I don't really know how long it was. Several days. Clearly there's a mountain of towels, but, um, and today, <laughs> Subsequently enough, I have a ton more laundry to do. So that is on my list of things to do today. But I digress. We saw our dream house and it had three different laundry stations around the house. Three. What? Crazy sauce. Looking back, I'm like, wow, that's a really good system. Like do it right outside the room and then it's right there. And then it may have even had four. I don't, I think it had a separate spot to add it, but it wasn't there yet. And then and the other house that we saw with like the Alice in Wonderland outside area, you know what I'm talking about with that like rustic looking table and it had, Wolfgang is right here. He's totally fine. He's just begging me to open candy. All the chocolates from Christmas. It's really, um, I'm just letting them go wild, right? Here, this one's actually coconut. So it's less candy and more healthy. Coconut's healthy, am I right? Nature's candy. Anyway, it's not even very sweet. I guess coconut sweet. I digress. Laundry, washing machines, dream house, didn't get it. What's the pro of having multiple? Other than just having more, I guess you can do more at one period of time and get it over with quicker. Is that the process behind? I don't know, you guys. I just, I'm happy with the ones that I have. Washing machines and dryers, <laughs> they're expensive. I don't know if I want to upkeep more than one. Anyway. Plus, you got to clean them. We just cleaned ours the other day, which honestly doesn't take a lot of time or effort. We just throw in the, I think I used to have a fresh, but then I had a Tide version of just, you just throw it in the washing machine, let it go through a cycle, and then you just wipe it down. Like, it's not that excessive. Uh, if you have a front loader, those are real annoying. And I feel like if I had multiple, I would need a front loader, right? It's not like you can stack top loaders on top of each other. And uh, yeah, that's just not my vibe. I'm not really interested in having a front loader again. Been there, done that. More maintenance with my front loader than anything else in my life. Very high maintenance. And by maintenance, I just mean cleaning it constantly. That rubber ring around it. It's like oh, so annoying. Anyway, glad I don't have a front loader anymore. <laughs> I'm also glad that I have my very cute little helper helping me out. Isn't he such a helper? 
Yes. Mm, teaching him young how to do laundry. Anyway, so this took me more time than I care to admit to get it done. But you should, you know, it was clean once. It was clean twice. And then you should see it right now. <laughs> should insert a clip it's not looking very pretty but it's just like the upkeep the general upkeep of just having a house and having a ton of people live here and constantly doing laundry I don't fold everything anymore I just throw it into bins and that seems to be a system that's really working out for us the kids are in charge of putting their baskets away and well I say kids most of them I help Wentworth and Meredith and then the baby so <laughs> still a lot of it falls on me Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Not that you noticed a difference, but <laughs> it's been a while again. That's life. And um, what am I doing here? Using my lovely Blue Land Cleaner. I use this stuff everywhere, and I love it. I, I recently found out, um, actually, my laundry detergent. I love the Blue Land laundry detergent, but I have to work through what I have. I, I feel like I might have ordered more on Thrive Market. In my next order, I don't know, I just placed it last night. <laughs> I was looking at it. I don't. I forgot if I added it to cart or not because I do have a lot of laundry detergent to work through. What's your favorite laundry detergent? I feel like it all works the same. I've been really into those sheets and uh, yeah. So I have that tied, like the free and clear in the pods. I do love the pods. It's easy for the kids to just throw in and that's something that I do like about the Blue Land Cleaners too, the laundry detergent, is that they come in little tablets. And so I can just say throw a tablet in rather than like, oh, measure out this liquid or powder, whatever. So it's just um, more convenient that way. So there's that. <laughs> Wolfgang, oh my gosh, cleaning with children. Do you feel me? Yes. Can you dig it? Sometimes, right? And um, he is a sweet little helper. He actually loves cleaning. He's such a good cleaner, but he really wanted to be on the counter right now for whatever reason, in the sink, in the water, give him water and he's a happy camper. But I, you know, I can't just sit there and have him play in the sink forever and always. And plus like he gets wet and then I have to change him. And who, wh who was I when I bought this outfit that he's wearing with seven million buttons on it <laughs> he just walks around with it flapping around so I'm like well inevitably you're gonna need another diaper change why am I gonna spend 20 minutes wrangling you around to try to button all of these things up right oh my gosh and talk about wrangling because he does not want to sit still for a diaper change never has not even as a newborn nothing it's not like oh he became a certain age and hated diaper changes nope his entire life does anyone else have a baby like that just refuses even as a new just would scream no chill at all I said it like in the first video I made with him I said this baby has no chill and, and nothing has changed <laughs> I swear you can know their personalities from the second they are born. And literally, he's upstairs playing, screaming for me. So, BRB. Okay, he's totally fine. It's just his thing. He loves to scream. And man, is that real fun for, <laughs> for us to listen to all the time. Oh, learning how to communicate is such a fun experience. Okay, this shower. Boy, am I needing a new shower curtain liner. That is something that I forgot about. I should probably order it on Amazon right now. Although I feel like whenever I find them at Home Goods. They're more affordable. So I don't know. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Maybe I need to make a list and not forget it next time I go there. But um, the inside of the shower curtain, I guess I can wash. I'll try to wash it first. But I feel like it is getting a little crusty and musty. It's been up there for two years. So how often am I supposed to change it rather than just washing it? I don't know. I think I'm at the point of no return with this one, but the outside of it looks great. I love this blue. I love when I redid this bathroom. It looks nice and fresh and crisp. Love the, um, like the pastel -y blue, ocean blue, if you will. And I loved it so much that I didn't even decorate in here for Christmas. Like, ooh, well, who cares? I didn't decorate for Christmas, but I'm actually glad that I barely decorate for Christmas. Let's be honest. But, um, I mean, some people go all out. Some people do nothing at all. I feel like I'm middle ground. Again, I do just enough to make it festive and minimal. <laughs> I'm basically a minimalist, so that's what you can call me. Anyway, here, look at him cleaning the toilet. I could basically just give him a list of things to do and he'll do them around the house. I am using this Clorox wand. I bought it seriously a year ago. A set at Costco was like 11 bucks. And I thought, wow, that's fantastic. I don't, I don't know. I can't get around all the waste 
And then I rarely use them. I have to like force myself to use them. They do smell great. I mean, it smells clean. It smells like bleach, you know? So pros and cons to that. I also have the Blue Land toilet tablet. So I'll show you that in the other bathroom. But th- I mean, this is nice for the kids to do because they can just snatch it on, snatch it, like snap it on the stick and then go around 11 bucks. And I got like 30 of them or something wild and crazy. Sometimes I take the stick around and clean all the toilets with one because there's so much product in one. I feel like you can totally do that. Um, otherwise, if I only clean one toilet, I'm like, oh, this is kind of wasteful, you know? So not my favorite thing. I won't repurchase again, but I did repurchase. So those are the pros and cons for me. There you go. As if you asked, (laughs) I feel like why not share it in a cleaning video, right? And the living room, the tree on the lights. I'm, I will be sad to see this tree go. Sometimes around the holiday season, I, um, feel suffocated by all of the Christmas decorations. And I feel like since we were very minimal this year, putting them up, I really only decorated the tree and then that little spot around the TV. Um, yeah, it feels fine. Like I can leave these up all year long and not be bothered. How about you? Are you one of those people who decorate in October and by the time Christmas rolls around and out, you're like sick of everything and over it? Um, I've seen plenty of memes like that on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, I saved a few things to share with you. I can't remember what they are, but sometimes things pop up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a good message. I want to share that. Oh, this one. Okay. So I, it's just a meme and I don't necessarily share them on Instagram. I just save them and it's just, I don't know, a a thing with words. (laughs) What do we call that? It's not funny, so it's not a meme. It's just something. And it states, one day when the kids are grown, I'll have a clean house, hot coffee, and all day to myself. And I think it might just break my heart. (laughs) And I read that and I was like, oh. I mean, so many people, right? We hear it all the time, day in, day out. Oh, those are the good old days. Oh, I wish my kids were little again. Listen, listen, okay? I understand the sentiment of like, first of all, what is in here? What the heck? What kind of dumpster fire is happening in that little pocket in my uh, couch? First of all, who invented this? Like, what is this for? Matt, uh, maybe TV guide? Remotes, probably? We can't use it for that. It's just for half-eaten donuts and garbage. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, these are the good old days. Oh, I miss them when they're that little. Right, right, right. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Oh, really? You miss it? (laughs) I think as time goes on, we forget. We only remember the good stuff, right? But um, I try to take videos of when my kids are literally screaming in the car. That's another thing. People are like, oh, if you're overwhelmed as a mom, just strap them in the car and take a drive. If you're touched out, just strap them in the car and take a drive. I'm like, oh, do you have kids who don't scream in the car? (laughs) Like, I dread driving anywhere because car rides are not fun. No, not a single moment of it the entire time. I'm like, <gasps> this, oh my gosh. As they get older, it gets a little easier. And I think the temperament for each child is different. Like Meredith could ride in the car for the majority of the time. No big deal. I mean, there were moments where she absolutely hated it. But sometimes she was okay. Like some people will say, oh, when my child was fussy, I put them in the car and they fell asleep. Nope, not my kids. Most of the time they just scream. And the screaming doesn't stop. It's not like, oh, they'll still soothe themselves. Nope, not mine. They just scream louder. Doesn't matter. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 20, 30, 40, 50. Because sometimes you just have to drive somewhere and it's 50 minutes away. Doctor's appointments, whatever. And it just didn't stop. I imagine those people aren't talking about moments such as that. (laughs) But what I was talking about earlier with the Christmas chaos, was it in this video or the previous video? I was talking about the Christmas chaos and, you know, waking up and having the little kids enjoying Christmas. And then when you're older, empty nesters, what have you, you don't have all of that anymore, right? Quiet mornings, mostly to yourself, I assume. I don't know. I'm not there yet. But that like that i feel like that's what they're talking about when they say oh those are the good old days like enjoy the moments while they're young and try as we may like obviously we try to focus on the good moments but it's not always easy it's not always rainbows and sunshine and i try to be very transparent about the good the bad and the ugly and 
Hopefully you can relate to that. Some of you do. Some of you don't. That's cool. We're all in different seasons of life and we all have live with different circumstances. And that's the thing. I think people judge based on their own set of circumstances. Isn't that so interesting? But anyway, I have moved on to cleaning the the sliders. That was gross before and after. And Meredith's room now. So she is helping me. Okay, air quotes. She does her best. I say, oh, that's dirty. Put that there. Put your where do your dolls go kind of thing. And I did more of a deep clean in her bedroom than I typically do. I cleaned out some drawers in here. I cleaned her bookshelf, which was really needing my attention. Her dirty laundry is piling up and she's got some dolls over there that they were playing with. And I just love watching them play together. It's just the sweetest thing. Okay. Something else that I saw on Instagram that actually made me laugh. It's really funny. Hold on. Let me grab it. Okay. I can't find it. I did find like a pit bull thing. Not, not the dog, but the rapper it's like song lyrics or whatever. It wasn't that great. And then I just went through a rabbit hole of Instagram and going through all my saved things. And man, I got a lot of really cool hacks. I have a saved board. It's like Instagram is all the things. Pinterest, you know, because you can make different boards with the things that you save. So I have one that's called mom hacks. And I was going through that. Oh my heck. So many cool things that I want to do. Billy bookcase, make it into like a dollhouse kind of thing that kind of looks like the shelf that I have to the left that you can barely see. And the, this Play-Doh hack, I just went through and went to Amazon and like add to cart this one woman that I follow, literally the woman across the room. And she's got four kids that I think they're all girls. And oh my heck, I'm like, how, how, how do you do it? Everything just seems so perfect and lovely. Obviously she shares um, Instagram reel. So it's just a couple minutes at a time, <laughs> which can be really nice. But the things she's so organized, but not like crazy organized, but just organized enough to the point where you think I can do that, you know? So I'm going to take some of her ideas and implement them this coming year. One of them was a, a Play-Doh thing and I'm needing a different Play-Doh organizer because mine broke. And I think she came up with the perfect system. So I'm excited to do that. I just added the things to the cards, like, you know, some fun, exciting things. My kids love Play-Doh, but sometimes they leave it out because, you know, I have, I bring the bin out and then it's so full that they don't put it back in the bin. They put, you know, most of the stuff back in, but whatever doesn't fit anyway. So I need to go through that and kind of declutter the stuff that I know that they don't use necessarily and make space for the, the stuff that they do use and make it accessible for them. So that is my goal. And this is step one, like decluttering, right? Going through her drawers. I was just going to shove the toys in these drawers, call it a day. Like what, what is happening in this night side table, night side table, bedside table, whatever it's called. What the heck Lego, uh, box Lego set. So I went through and I put the Legos back in the box, which who got this Lego set for <laughs> all these little chokeable toys. I'm like, we have a baby. So I'm just going through getting rid of the toys, putting other toys upstairs where they belong. Like that rolling pin goes with the Play-Doh stuff. You know what I mean? And then she is in love with the adorable sets. She got so many of them. So I have that little case up there. So I'm separating adorables. And then she has another like tin lunchbox like this that I put her LOL dolls in. So it's not like cutesy, sweet organization, Pinterest, perfect, whatever. I'm just taking stuff that we have and using it. <laughs> I love that little clap. Yeah, he's just so sweet. And this glitter, oh my heck, the glitter. When she goes in Eleanor's room, sometimes she'll sneak away glitter because who doesn't love glitter, right? Speaking of, oh my gosh, I need to buy her new shoes, her new glitter shoes. The second pair that she's been through this year and they are worn. I'm like, man, she loves them so much. She like wears them to the ground. Either that they're not cheap either, either that or they're not very made very well. I get them from DSW. So you think that's in like a nice quality shoe store, but the shoes are only lasting a couple months. What they started school mid August, September, October, November, December. It's been four ish months that she's gone through two of these pairs of shoes. I don't know. I feel like I should write an email, but I don't want to be that person. You know, do you ever think about that? Like, oh, I should complain about this, <laughs> but is it worth my time, energy and attention? And what's going to come of it? Is it worth it? You know, like, am I being dramatic? Is it just shoes? I mean, you think like $35, $40 shoes should last more than a couple months. That's my hot take. But 
I don't, maybe, you know, I'm not saying a word, not a single word. What are you looking forward to organizing this new year? Or do you have a really amazing organizing space in your home that you're really proud of? Share that with me. Tell me what you've done and be like, you should do this too. I am looking forward to having a game closet because right now our board games are just here, there, and everywhere. Pieces are flying all over Tarnation. They're accessible to the children, so it's not the best spot to put them in, you know? But we do love playing board games. Hey, you know what I just got in the mail? This Ulta magazine with a $5 coupon on the back? Okay. Um, I obviously, like, recycled it. I don't really go through it. Ulta's not my thing. You guys know. But uh, my kids do love Ulta, so I went there the other day. And they had a coupon on the back. So I'm like, I need to keep this in my purse for the next time my kids want something from Ulta, which now won't be for years now that I have a coupon on my purse, right? That's how it works out. That's Newton's Law. I digress. I went to throw it away like in the recycle bin and the perfume samples fell out of it. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll take a sniff. You guys, it was so good. I just kept it in my room. I'm like, this is so, <laughs> this is so nice. I just want to smell it. So I put it by my computer and it is Kate Spade Sherry. It is obviously French, Francais, uh, French scent. It's got the Eiffel Tower in the background. And then the other one, Kate Spade, New. oh, it's both Kate Spade, New York, I guess Sherry is the new fragrance. It smells so dang good. And then on the other side, it's just Kate Spade. It says Kate Spade, New York, and it's got the New York skyline in the background. I don't know. That one's really muted. Not my fave. It kind of smells like an Ariana Grande perfume, <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe I've just been smelling too many of them. But the Sherry one smells like, kind. Of, I in my head, I want to say it kind of smells like J'adore Dior, but I don't know. Delicious. Do you wear perfume? Is that your vibe? I'm, I don't really wear perfume. I'm more of a naturalist in that way. I do do deodorant, but I've just had small kids for so long and you know, they're close to me all the time and I feel weird like wearing a scent that I know that they're like, is it good for them? Is should I not? I don't know. I've got a lot of feelings about it. I do love perfume. If someone smells good, I'm like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. But no one has ever complimented me on my odor. <laughs> so I'm looking into that. I do have a couple of the philosophy scents. How did we get on this tangent? I don't know. We're just hanging out, right? So, um, and then there's another one that I, it keeps coming up. You know how Sephora had their, like, I don't know, 100 days of beauty. And so the influencers were on Instagram talking about it. And a couple of them that I follow, because I don't follow many like that, they were talking about this one scent in particular. And now I forgot what it's called. Oh, crap. I don't know. But it's on my list. And I'm like, oh, I just want to smell it. Like, I, will I like it? Will I not? And then will I buy it? I don't know. It's like $120 for a perfume. Seems wild and crazy to me. But people do it all day, every day. So I don't know. I just want to give it a whiff. On Amazon, they have the trial size for like $30. bucks. i am like, I don't know if I'm going to spend $30. What if I hate it? I guess I can always return it on Amazon, you know? Okay, I've moved to hey hey did you that was the bookshelf satisfying i wasn't really watching i was more looking at the the perfume ulta thing anyway uh was the bookshelf satisfying i am wanting to organize all the books too somewhere else because it just gets wild and crazy up there i want to put them upstairs too and um anyway i've moved on to the bathroom and man the stools i clean these so often i guess our dirty feet like step on them so it makes sense oh and these are the blue land toilet cleaners so simple they are pretty huge. I tried to break them in half and do two toilets with one. I feel like that kind of works, um, but I've had them for so long. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. It's fine. I'll just plop it in. And so I plopped this one in and it's foaming, doing its thing. And then I just let it sit, clean something else, come back and give it the old swish and swash with the toilet. I decided to give you a before of this after I sprayed it. So it's not very a very good before of my refrigerator, but there's my fridge. I do love this cleaning solution. I think it's like Weissman or something. It smell, the smell is strong, not gonna lie. Not my favorite because I'm not a huge fan of like all those scents, right? I mean, that's what we're talking about. Scents galore. Have you seen the documentary Smelly or Smells? It's all about like the chemicals that's in everywhere, right? And is it good for us? All that kind of stuff. So I watched it several years ago, but you know, stuff like that just stays with you. So anyway, the scent of that is overpowering. Hey, speaking of even more scents, I've got this Bissell here and 
I wouldn't buy this again either. This is the Woodland Pine. I also got the Autumn scent, whatever it was. I bought them both at the same time. And I don't think it makes a difference. I honestly think the Bissell, the normal one for the Crosswave, because I love my Crosswave, you know, I use it all of the time. It sweeps, vacuums, and mops all in one. People are out here talking about Tinco, talking about all kinds of other cleaners. I'm sure they all perform a very similar way, but um, this is just the one that I happened to purchase a few year, a couple years ago, and I love it. I can't believe I waited this long to purchase it. It sweeps, mops, vacuums. It saves me so much time because I it, that's time consuming stuff, right? Sweeping and then mopping and then vacuuming all separately, pulling out the things. I just like having them all in one system. Anyway, the normal solution for this, I feel like smells stronger than the pine scent or the specialty scents that I got off of the website. I was excited to try them, but I won't be repurchasing them uh, either. And they do have a natural one, but it's so vinegary to me that I can't stand it. I don't like it. So there's my hot take on the Bissell <laughs> Crosswave cleaners. Um, I don't know if you can put your own cleaners in here. I don't want to ruin the pipes by putting like essential oils or thieves cleaner in there either, because I know like the essential oils will break down the uh, pipes on the inside and then it's, it will break the machine. So I don't want to do that on my steam mop. Ooh, sorry. I used to put essential oils on the pad of the steam mop and that scent, that was great whenever I would clean with my steam mop and the scent would really linger around the house. So I really liked doing that, but this one doesn't have a pad. I guess it has that spinny thing on the inside I can throw it on, but I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. By the way, the woman I follow on Instagram, her name is Life with Lainey. I don't think I mentioned that. Like the woman across the room that I'm like, oh my gosh, she makes me seem like I can do it too. Right? Like I can do that too if I just buy enough stuff <laughs> to do it. And that's the trick. Figuring out what's worth it and what's not. You know, for your life, my life, whatever. So some of the things I'm like, oh, that's really cool for her. And some of the things I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I can do that too. Or I should do that. Or I want to do that, you know? So dining room, kitchen. I'm just going around cleaning all of the spaces in my house. And it always feels good when I clean the floors because I can have a tidy house. And if the floors are dirty, it still feels like Ugh, I'm bogged down with all of that. So the floors are always one of my favorite things to clean. And then here comes everyone just trampling around all my, uh, all my work, hard work, <laughs> no big deal. Really. They were in and out, you know, living their life too. So the, Oh, as you can see, the addition is done. If you didn't see that before, that is the hallway in there. Oh, the hallway, the hallway with air quotes. It's going to be a door. It's a whole story and a half. And I'm not really, uh, willing to talk about it right now because, well, I don't want to be in a bad mood. How about that? Okay. This is a much nicer area of my house. This it, high traffic area. So I'm just doing my best to get all of it up. Love the Bissell. Um, I was going to go in and do the baseboards here and that wall because, you know, when people sit here, they plop their feet on the wall and it just gets dirty after time. And then the baseboards, all the crumbs fall and it's not a beautiful sight. From far away, it looks fine. But up close, it's a big old mess. Uh, not, not too bad. Even the chairs need a good wipe down, but for now I just said, Oh, that's good enough. I don't feel like bending down all this time with a baby. I eventually got him off of me and decided to do the baseboards in the hallway because those were way worse than under the kitchen bar. So, you know, you pick and choose your battles and this is what needed more of my attention today. And that's why I moved it in here. These baseboards, usually this is one of the kids chores along with like the stairs but like the, you know, the only stairs in our house. <laughs> so I have them wipe them down and dust them and stuff like that. But they usually do between this carpet because the vacuum won't really get in between um, because it's such a small area. And then like, you know, the door frames and the doors here. Sometimes some one of my children gets a hold of a little marker that happened recently and just went ham, like trying to write on everything. So that was really fun. And I mean, it's washable, so it's no big deal. He's learning. He's a little babe, so he'll figure it out. That's why I don't love to have markers around. And that's why I need to organize everything, you know, make it a little bit harder for him to get a hold of stuff like that. But I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp on our, on our, uh, what's it called? Not art supplies. Cause I do want to do that 
That'll be upcoming. I'm making a pile of all my organizing stuff. You know, eventually it'll happen. But let me know if you have any plans for the New Year's, any resolutions that you want to keep track of. Maybe I'll add that to my list of goals this year. I don't know. If, I, I feel like every year I just try to do my best. And that's all I can really do. And I hope the same for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and cleaning with me today. I hope I gave you some cleaning motivation or just gave you something to listen to while you are living your life. Don't forget to check out Blue Land cleaning products. My link is in the description box below. You can get 15% off of your first kit. If you want to subscribe, if you're new, put a little happy in your day. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Happy cleaning. Happy New Year.